Terry does not hang out with any friends. She does not have any money to do anything because she gives it all away. And she sits at home and waits for the call from Ricardo. She's very lonely. I'm alone a lot. All of my family and friends believe that Ricardo is a scammer and not real. It hurts my feelings a lot. My sister tells me all she wants is me to be happy. Well, what if in order for me to be happy, it's to be with him. There he is. That's your guy, right? Mm hmm That's your guy. But his name is not Ricardo Clay. His name is James. His name is what? James. He confirmed to us that he is the man in the photos. The photos that Ricardo is sending Terry. But he is not the man that Terry has been talking to or sending money to for the past two years. He was gracious enough to send us a video message. Hey, Dr. Phil, my name is James, and uh, I'm an artist living in California. I'm not in Canada. And um, I know that my images are often used for romance scams and are taken mostly from my social media. I've never spoken to Terry. Uh, I don't know Terry. I'm really sorry that, that this is happening to her. I've been dealing with this for over 10 years now. Um, people taking my images and creating fake profiles and accounts just to scam people. I hope that this video can show um, that I am the person in the photos, but I am not the person that uh, Terry's been talking to and sending money to. Um, I hope that this video can help. Now, that's James. And yeah, I'm heartbroken, but I'm done. <laughs> when I get home, I'll get a new telephone number. I'm not going to give it to any of them. And I'm blocking. Well, first, I'm going to block them because I can't get a telephone number overnight. But Well, I want to be very, very clear number. about this. James is also a victim here and is completely innocent. So if you're just walking through the room and see his picture, he is not a scammer. He is a victim. He's had his identity stolen just like you are a victim. If I see him, I won't punch him out. No, don't punch him out. Um, <laughs> and you know, he sent you photos. Uh, this Ricardo has sent you photos. And yes. uh, one photo that Ricardo sent was this one. That's you in the picture that he's, you know, looking at and saying, It was Whoa. my Facebook picture. Right, exactly. But let's take a look at the real photo. That was art that he has. And what he did was Photoshop your face into this picture of James. And we've blurred it out because there's some art in there. He's an art dealer and all. And so we had to blur that out. But he Photoshopped your face on to the top of a picture that he was taking, just sitting next to some pictures on the wall. That's how good these people are. That's yep, how nefarious good. they are. And so what do we know overall about Ricardo? Well, um, date of birth, 2660. Zero found in the United States. Nobody by that name ever born in the United States on that date. Okay. Beverly Hills home exists, never been owned by Ricardo Clay. You know, there's tax records and stuff. You go back, he never had anything to do with that property. Houston condo, it's up for sale. It last sold in February of 2021. No transactions involving Ricardo Clay or this Howard character. They have nothing to do with that. They just went and just found something, picked it out, and said this would be a good one. Invoices from Ricardo and Daryl, made up, not real. You've sent money to keep the cryptocurrency wallet active? Yes. There are no fees for cryptocurrency wallets. There, there are no fees for that. $1,500 Bitcoin investment uh, would have lost money. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.